What's up guys welcome back to HMHT so we have a new update today and as you can see it's iOS 14.3 beta 3 at the time I'm recording this video this is actually available to both developer beta testers and to public beta testers so whether you are a public beta or developer beta tester this is an update that you can download and as you can see here this is the update size that it came in for me on my iPhone 6s I was updating from beta 2 to beta 3 so you can see that it came in at around 142.6 megabytes however if you are updating from iOS 14.2 to this beta you can see the update size that you're going to get and it's going to be slightly over four gigs now in terms of how it came in for me on my iphone if you go to settings and then go to general and then go to the about this iphone section you can see the software version that we have that it's 18c5061a this build number has an a at the end and the previous beta actually had the c at the end so this is beta in terms of stability and also it goes to indicate that perhaps the final build is close by now in terms of the modern firmware version you can see the modern firmware version we have here that it's 4.02.01 so that's the modern firmware and then if we go back to see the iphone storage how much space this update is taking just takes a moment to load and as you can see here it's actually taking up 8.03 gig the previous version was taking up almost 7 gigs so you can see that this has increased by almost a gig which is not good now in terms of new features and changes that came with this update if you have the iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max you actually have Pro Raw video support so you'd have to go into your settings and then go to your camera settings just to be able to enable that but that is a feature that is only available to the iphone 12 pro and 12 pro max you won't see it on this iphone because this is not an iphone 12 pro or 12 pro max or on this iphone 6 it's not supported you have to have that device in order for you to enable this and then something also that came with this update has to do with pregnancy data so if you open your health app and then search for pregnancy so you can see that you have the pregnancy section there where you can input your data so if you are pregnant this is a section that you'd want to utilize it to tell you for how long and when you are expecting so this is something that came with this ios 14.3 and then also if we go back into settings and then go to safari here and then click here where it says search engine you can see that we now have eco asia or eco asia something like that which we can select as our search engine so my default is google and you can select any other that you want like DuckDuckGo or yahoo or so on so that is also something new that came with this ios 14.3 and then also if you have set up your home app and you have the home pod and other connected devices you now have an option whereby you can update all the devices that are connected in your home to the latest available update for those devices which is something good that came with this update and also in terms of fitness we now have a new cardio fitness level so for this you'd actually have to go to your health app and then go to the browse section and for you to be able to see this you'd have to either go to the heart section and you'll be able to see your cardio fitness level that's what you see for me here and you can see that it's below average and then if we go back we can actually go to the mobility section there and we'll also be able to see our cardio fitness level this is something that came out or that's possible because of ios 14.3 and for you to be able to set this up you also need to have watch os 7.2 which is also in its beta stages currently so that's also something new and then also with this update you can actually find third party accessories like tile and so on and 9 to 5 mark has previously hinted that this actually means that air tags are going to come out or when this update releases somewhere close by air tags will actually also be coming out soon 
we'll wait and see but you can actually track third-party tracking accessories like tile and so on and then also with this update if you go to your settings and then you go to where it says bluetooth if you have the new playstation 5 you can actually connect it and it will be able to work with games that support that controller so that's good since it's a new thing and now with this update it's supported if you have the iphone 8 you now have 1080p when it comes to facetime so that is something that has been added with this 14.3 and it just goes to improve the resolution that the iphone 8 gets when you are on a group facetime call or on a single facetime call that is new and something that came with this update and also ipad sharing has been fixed with ipad os 14.3 beta 3 on the previous beta there was an issue with that so that has been fixed now let's talk about some of the issues that are still pending with this update the first one has to do with the notification bug so sometimes you might actually get a notification that says you have a new message or a new voicemail and when you go in you don't find anything or accidental notifications there that is a bug that is still pending with this update and then some users mentioned that they are having issues when it comes to wi-fi connection so as you can see for me here uh so far for the four hours or so that i've been using this update i haven't had any issues but some people are and let's talk about whether when to expect this update rather so if we open our calendar app here let's just open this you can see that today is when we had this update and the previous update actually came two weeks before it came on the 18th of november which was you know it's been some time and today since we have this update and apple usually takes like the last weeks of uh, december off we can sort of expect hopefully this is what i'm expecting for an update to come out soon which will be next week somewhere between the 7th and the 9th of december we should be getting the gm or the rc version and then on the week of the 14th hopefully we get ios 14.3 the official version that's when i expect it and whether you should update or not i really feel like you know considering the build number that we have here so if we go to the about section here let's just go to the about section you can see that the build number has an a so it's a bit more stable than the c that we had previously on beta 2 however this is just indicating that the official version is very very close by so if you have one device that you use every day, I would advise you hold on since the official version of iOS 14.3 is about to come out. So other than that, that's about it for me. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below and stay safe. And I will definitely see you in the next video very soon. Peace.